Let's think about this for a minute. Here's our four hour timer and there's only two connections on here. One is for the line that comes in and it gets connected over here off to the side. We've got to push it into that hole and then tighten a set screw that we're going to put in down there. That's the power coming in and the load we're going to have to put a little screw in there. See that little hole down in there? And the load, which is the power coming out of this timer, comes and connects up here and goes out. So in reality, there's no place on this switch to hook up a ground wire or a white neutral wire. Now most standard switches, you've got at least a place to connect up to uh, the ground, right? This one we don't have either one. So theory has it that I'm going to be able to do this and I'll explain a little bit more right now. Here's on this particular project, here's where the plug was installed over here. So that's going to go back over there. And I have a white wire for that, a black wire, and a ground wire. That's, so when I turn the breaker on, the power comes right to here and that's it for the air conditioner. Here's the plug for the air conditioner. And that gets plugged right into there. Okay? I'll just have that pushed up there so it's kind of out of the way for now. Okay? This plug is still going to be there and we're going to have the timer over at this location. Make sense so far? Let me zoom in a little bit closer, huh? Here's the two boxes. I'm going to zoom in just on this one first box here so I don't confuse you or anything. Okay? That's where we're going to put the plug back into here. We got it. Here's this wire set up here runs over to the new timer location. Okay? Now we've got a, we've got the main power line right here. So we're going to take the black wire and we're going to hook up to that. Right? And that's going to take power. We're going to put that into the junction box and then that's going to go away because we want power to go over to the timer location. We're not going to have power. When we turn the breaker on, power is not going to be here anymore. It's going to go over to the timer. Okay, I've, I've already kind of explained this in a different scenario. But now I'm trying to explain to you how we're going to do that use, using just the black and white wire. Okay? Basically, here, here's what you need to know. This white wire now that goes over to the other box, we're going to use that as a black wire, a hot wire. We're not going to use this as a neutral wire. What I have to do is before I hook this up, I have to be real careful with that and remember what I'm doing. I'll have to put black electrical tape in there so when I put it back inside the box, in case anybody looks at that later and pulls that apart a year from now, two years from now, whatever, they see a black electrical tape over this white wire and they'll know something's up and they'll know it's not being utilized for a neutral white wire. Does that make sense so far? You're just going to have to bear with me. This is as close as I'm going to be able to get you because I want you to see both boxes here. I don't want to confuse you, okay, because this is very important for you to catch. All right, so I got the hot wire connected into there. Now the hot line is coming over to here, and this is where the timer goes. And remember I said we install this, the line, and there's two little screws, and when you look on there, you, do, you have to look real close. One's going to say line, one's going to say load, L-O-A-D. The line is the power coming into the box, hooking up to this timer. So then when you turn the timer on, the power goes out of the load side over to the plug. In this case, the plug's going to be left over there, right? So when I hook this, this uh, timer up, I'm going to hook the hot wire to the line, and I'm going to put some black electrical tape on this white wire, and now that's going to be my transition wire, my load wire going back over to the switch or over to the plug. I'm fully 
confusing you now, aren't I? I don't think I am. Just play this back if, if you got a question. Okay, so you're going to make believe this white wire is a black hot wire. That's the load. I'm going to hook that up to the load. So that goes up to the top. Now, when I turn a timer on, and this one goes to the bottom. This is the power in at the bottom that feeds this. Okay, the power. When I turn the breaker on, all the power is going to come over to this switch first. I don't want any power to the plug because the plug's going to be controlled with the switch. Once you turn the four hour timer on, boom, this plug over here, I'm going to reinstall, is then going to be hot for then for you to then control the air conditioner. Okay? So the top wire here is the load. That goes back over and we're going to make believe this is going to be a black wire. Because we don't need, here's the thing, you don't need a, a neutral wire over here in the switch box, do you? Now as for the ground, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. This is a plastic box. There's no ground screws on this switch at all. So I may just cap this off or push it back into the box and not even use it. I don't necessarily, and the ground wire that comes out is up here, I don't necessarily have to hook it up to this ground wire because it's really not doing anything. Now I could, so I'm going to push this ground wire back in the box here and not hook it up, or I could hook it up and just leave a wire nut on here or push this back into the box, whatever. Okay? Now, you got me so far? I'm going to talk some more. I guess for this one, maybe I can zoom you back in over here because we've talked about the other one. I'll zoom you back over here. Okay? How's that? Okay, so these two are going to get connected. And that's the power that goes over to the other side, okay? Just make believe you don't have those in this box now. I want you to confuse you, okay? So now, we've got this plug, and we've got a ground screw, a silver screw, which is, whenever you see a silver screw, it, you sh it should be on the long slotted side, and that should be the neutral side. You've got a gold screw over here. That's the hot side. The small little groove here is the hot side. So we still got three wires to hook up. Where are we going with this? Okay, the, the um, ground wire gets hooked up to the ground screw, right? Okay. And I've already explained what this ground wire is going to do here, right? Okay, so now we got two wires left. In your mind, you think, okay, both wires are white. Uh-oh, what are we going to do? Now remember, I'm going to put, I'm going to wrap this wire with some black electrical tape. Okay, so this is really going to be the black wire, the hot wire, right? So the hot wire is going to be hooked up to the screw on the hot side. Boom. The white wire is going to be hooked up to the neutral side. Kaboom. The ground wire is going to be on the ground screw. And voila, there you go. That's how we're going to do this. You see, now I've showed you how to do this whole thing using one wire. Now, can you always do it this way for a standard light switch? I would not recommend it. I don't want to get you all confused. But for this particular instance, I think this is going to be fine. Now, if you got any questions with that, you send me your comments and concerns, and we'll work it out. It takes a little bit of understanding this and going through it a little bit to realize that you can hook up this this uh, timer that way okay so I think from now on whenever I need to hook up a timer kaboom one set of wires will do the trick